Hey everybody, welcome back to Micro Beer Reviews. Today we have a beer from Cigar City Brewing out of Florida, and it's called Florida Man. It's their double IPA. Uh, it is, um, I guess, the, the brother to High Life. I thought I'd reviewed this before, and quite honestly, I'm pretty sure I have a video of it from years ago, but I got tired of trying to find it, and it wasn't popping up, so I said, oh, what the heck, I'll just do it again. Uh, so this beer, where I live in North Carolina, is extremely hard to get. Um, we can get highlight, but we can't get this. So I don't. It's one of those distribution things. Uh, this one is 8.5 ABVs. It's only 55 IBUs, and for a double IPA, that's very, very low. They use um, Citra, uh, uh, Zaka, Eldorado, and Mandarin Bavarian hops. And what they're what they're doing here is it says it's a delicate um, the, uh, balance between a dash of of Canadian honey malt with the mix of these uh, four hops to create this this what I would call a classic double IPA. Now, <clears throat> the can is really cool. I like the can. It's got you know welcome to the Sunshine State Florida sign when you cross the border. It's got an alligator. Uh, it's got this uh, kind of trailer on fire in the background. It's actually a really cool can if you take some time and look at it. Um, you'd be surprised how much artwork is in this can. It's a very, very cool can. I think I paid $18 for the six pack. Now, when you when you open this one up and you pour it in a glass, it's yellow. It's not the classic orange of a lot of the double IPAs, which is kind of odd at first. And I didn't remember that. Um, the, the head is perfectly white. There's nothing, there's zero color in it. And most of the bubbles are pretty small and tight. If you hit the aroma though, what's interesting about this one and I kind of remember this, but it's got a lot of lemon. There's definitely um, more of a of a hop floral aroma to it. Now, granted, there's citra hops in here, right? Azaka hops in here. So those are definitely a much more florally, or, or fruity, excuse me. So it's very fruit forward, in my opinion, but it smells really good. It's not what I expect when I open a double IPA, though. It's more of a... Uh, Kind of a classic uh 6.8 percent 60 ibu ipa smell but it definitely smells really good now the other thing you have to if you, if you do buy this beer look on the website there's this really cool thing about this this a hero with a shark tooth around his neck a grim reaper tattoo on his arm they talk about the state of florida special hero um it's it's just cool and then they say this is a hopped up whopper of a big beer guaranteed uh, to sear itself into your memory, the world's worst superhero, Florida Man. And it's all, it, you envision like this swamp guy, you know, running around chasing alligators. It's, it's really very well marketed in my opinion. But anyway, enough talking. Cheers. Let's get in the glass. It's, all right, so it's 8.5%. There's zero booziness. It's very smooth. It's got an awesome finish. It definitely is fruitier than what I think you would anticipate and what I'm anticipating. It's got a little bit of malt background to it. Um, for a double IPA, it's a little higher on that side. You can tell there's more than one hop. Again, it's, I know I've had this years and years ago. It's not as, as powerful of a double IPA as what I remember, but it's very drinkable. It's extremely dangerous. Uh, it's fruity. I've said that probably three times now, but it's got a nice finish to it. It's got a nice mix of, it's lemon. I would call it lemon grapefruit. You may use some orange and some, some almost lemon zest. It's got some, some kind of punch to it, uh, but it's well balanced and it's very easy to drink. Uh, this beer on a, on a hot day on the beach in Florida would be de dangerous. So I rank my beers from one and five. I would probably give this a four. I'd buy it again. It's a decent price point. I, I really like Cigar Brewing, they, or Cigar City Brewing. They've done a really good job with their beers. They're very consistent, and you can tell there's more than one ingredient in here, and they work really well together. And I love the artwork on the can. The can is one of the best I've seen in a while. So leave comments down below. Let me know if you've tried it. Uh, if you like Cigar City Brewing, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We upload all the time. And as always, we appreciate you watching and we'll see you again real soon.
Cheers.